Hey guys, this is Fly Games, and we're ready to fire off this project. Now, I will point out that I want to make this tutorial quick and simple. Later on, we can get fancier, but for starters, we need to make this work. So first of all, I'm going to import all of my assets. And all of my assets are composed from sprites, nothing more. That's all I need. So I'm importing, wait for about two years. Okay, so now that I have my sprites, here you can see all of my sprites, I'm going to create an empty game object and I'm going to call it, I want to center it. And now, if you see, if I put a sprite render component and uh, put wall 1, I have a display of the wall. I want to scale it up so that it fits the camera. I want to align this to the camera. Now, if I put game, you see that I have a good look of the sprite. If I change the resolution here, or here or here I don't want I don't get the exact result that I want so I just want 16 to 10 I'm going to go to the project settings player and here you see that I have unchecked all this of the all the other resolutions of the camera I only check 16 to 10 because when the player is going to run the, the game you don't want you don't want the player to to pick uh, to select the, this resolution, for example, because you won't get the result that you want. You might have problems with that. So you need to check on this and uncheck the others. Uh, okay. So now what I'm going to do is I I will use this display image to navigate through the room. For example, if I go to change and put ball two, you see. That I have another wall, or wall three, wall four, and back to wall one. So the only thing I want to do is just change the the sprite of the display image, and that will be the current image that the rest will be displayed. Now I forgot to mention that all of my sprites you can download from the description link below. So how am I going to do that? How am I going to navigate through the room? First of all, I need to create a UI canvas. Okay, because the UI is very necessary for this project. I'm going to change the render mode to screen space camera and put the main camera in. So that the UI is focused only on the camera and doesn't go all over the place. Uh, what you need to do now is, I have already done this, but you need to place the camera so that the near cool plane, that is the near cool plane, this white box here, the near cool plane should be in front of the display image, or else, I'll show you just now, if I create the button, here you see that I have the button in front of the image, but if I aim to move the camera so that the near cool plane goes below the image, I don't get the display of the button because it's hidden. So you need to put this in front. Okay. <clears throat> so uh, well now what I want to do is I uh, forgot to mention if you zoom in now and you uh, the display image gets disappear, you just need to go display image, click F, and it should be okay. So uh, I'm going to go to this button. I don't need the text. I will need to put the sprite, the R sprite here, and this will this will be the button that will be that will allow me to navigate through the room. I want it to be a square about this size, and I'm going to put it right in the corner. Also, I want to duplicate it, put it in the exact mirror side. Scale it to minus so that it's showing, it's showing to the left. And now I have these arrows that the one is showing to the right and the other is showing to the left. I'm going to call this uh, 
button right and button left so with with these arrows i'm going to to use them so i uh, can change the current display so if i am to click the right arrow the current display will go to wall 2 and if i click again wall 3 wall 4 and if i click the other arrow the left goes back to wall 3 so this will be the system that we'll use that will allow us to navigate so i'm going to leave uh, this video here and in the next video we will talk about how to navigate through the room and zoom in in specific points so thanks guys for watching please remember to like the video and subscribe see you next time